fabulous red shoe runners, walkers, and if you're like me, even snoozers. Wow, what a year it's been. We are so grateful for your efforts and, and what you do provides so much help and respite for the families we serve. Thank you. And thank you to McDonald's and all our other Red Shoe Run sponsors. There's no better feeling than coming together as a family to support the families we serve. We're all one big happy family and we are so grateful to you. Um, we're crossing our fingers that next year we can do this in person and have our block party um, as we normally do. Until then, please stay well and thank you so much again for your tremendous support. Our families and me are so very grateful. everybody, it's JJ Pruitt here. I hope that you are rocking the streets or parks or sidewalks wherever you did the virtual Red Shoe Run this year. Now, I gotta tell you, I miss seeing all of you guys because right now, we would be full of people right here in this roundabout, but I gotta tell you, the spirit of all of you guys, it never dampens because you still continue to support the Ronald McDonald House. And I wanna thank each and every one of you for doing that because it is so cool for you to do. The service has never stopped. So guess what? I love seeing all of you guys wearing the t-shirts on the videos and everything. And don't worry, you'll be seeing this t-shirt on Fox 6 sometime for maybe an exercise Monday or something like that. But you wear these t-shirts in the grocery stores or whatever it is, let everybody know what's going on that we still need your help at the Ronald McDonald House and the Red Shoe Run Rockin' 5K. Continue to keep going, guys, and there's still a chance for you to help out. So even after this is over with, you still have a chance to help the Ronald McDonald House in any way that you can. Donating, volunteering, or maybe not volunteering right now until the COVID is over with, but we need your help. And I want to thank all of you guys for doing that and really appreciate everything that you've done so far. So keep on rocking and keep on huffing out with the Ronald McDonald House Red Shoe Run Rockin' 5K. We'll see you guys. Welcome to the Red Shoe Run Virtual Award Ceremony. I'm Stephanie Duncan, the Community Outreach Manager here at the house, and we're just gonna go ahead and dive right into our first round of awards. This year, we uh, asked you guys to submit your entries through Facebook for Best Costume and Best Team Spirit. Um, so be sure to check out the page there to look at our entries that we had. It's gonna go to Team Survivors. They're actually one of our alumni families, so be sure to go like their post and give them some love for participating in the run this year. Thank you guys, and, and we'll be in touch with you all to uh, give your award to you. Um, so next, we are actually going to dive into our team awards. Um, so this year, we have our largest team. Um, everyone knows that Red Shoe Run is more fun when you have your friends to run alongside of you and socially distance together. Um, so this year, back for another time, is Team BBVA Rocks. So shout out to you guys. You had over 40 people on your team this year and we are thrilled to have you all back. Um, and we look forward to seeing you guys again next year to see if you can beat that number. So now we're actually going to take a quick break and uh, we'll be back with more team awards here in just a few minutes. Hey family, I represent the loves of Montgomery, Alabama. And let me tell you, I'm so excited just to be saying thank you. Thank you all so much for the continued efforts and the Red Shoe Run. Because of you all, when our daughter was born in just 23 weeks, I was able to have a wonderful place to stay while being able to see about her and still take care of my amazing son as well. My strong girl was on a four month journey and for that four months, I was surrounded by family near and far that I never knew I had. And that is all thanks to you all. Thanks so much. And I want you to please continue to rock the streets. All right, you guys, we're back and we're ready to hand out awards for our outstanding fundraisers. 
you guys know that after all the fun and games are set aside, this Red Shoe Run is an important fundraiser to help us keep our mission going and our doors open for families. So we really thank you guys for all of your hard work this year. And we're ready to shout some of you guys out for, for putting in your all. All right, and next up, we're highlighting our House Hero Award winner. This is for our individual, and this year it goes to 45 Days in Indianapolis. This is a fundraised by Garnett Arroyo. Um, she raised $3,228 for the house this year. Way to go, Garnett. That is so amazing. We're so glad to have your support this year. And now we're going to highlight our top alumni family fundraiser. This year, that award goes to Molly's Rockin' Racers. She raised $3,265 this year. Way to go, Molly and Amy. That is so awesome. Um, they are actually also our third place winner for our House Heroes Award. Great job, you guys. Next up, we are going to recognize our most enthusiastic team. This year, it goes to Team Beckman Coulter. From California to Texas and all the way back to Alabama, they really rallied the troops this year all across the U.S to come together and support Red Shoe Run. Thank you guys for getting creative with us this year. Congratulations, everyone. We really appreciate how hard you guys worked this year coming together to support our mission and making sure that our doors can stay open for Ronald McDonald House guest families. Thank you guys so much. Hi, we're the Baker family and we're from Orlando, Florida. And our son was born at 33 weeks and without your support, we would not have had anywhere to stay while he was in the hospital. So thank you so much for participating in the Red Shoe Run. And now we are going to announce our awards for our 5K participants. Okay, so first up, we have our top masters, female and male category. Bringing in our top masters, female, we have Lizzie Hutchison. Congratulations, Lizzie. And next up for our top masters, Mel, we have Chester Salou. Congratulations, Chester. All right, so now we're moving on into our female category for first, second, and third place. In first place for our females, and first place overall for the Red Shoe Run Rockin' 5K, we have Reagan Edwards. Congratulations, Reagan. And for our second place female, we have Stephanie Hale. And for our third place female, we have April Bishop. Okay, so next up, we're moving on to our male category. First place, second, and third. So in our first place, we have Aaron Fonz bringing it home. Congratulations, Aaron. And in our second place for Mel is Lance Hutchison. In our third place for Mel is Steven Iaconis. Congratulations, you guys. You all did awesome and you rocked our 5K. Thanks for bringing it home to support the Ronald McDonald House and our mission here for our guest families. We appreciate you guys. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shane Slaughter. I'm the committee chairman for the Red Shoe Run race. On behalf of the committee and the staff here at the Ronald McDonald House in Birmingham, we would like to thank you so much for your support and commitment to making this event happen. As of right now, we have 504 participants and almost $19,000 donated, which is incredible. Um, thanks to you so much for doing that. If you or your friends feel like donating still, there's still time. You can go to the Red Shoe Run Beham.org website and do it there. Um, again, thank you so much for your um, commitment and your support, and we really appreciate you. Hope to see you in 2021.